Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about this Boss ATV stereo system. I wasn't going to do an install video because this is like super simple and super easy to install. I didn't want to waste time on the video. I wanted to get straight to the point. I know why you guys came. You came to see what it sounds like. So after you like, share, and subscribe, put on your headphones. And then after the video, go check out www.cfmotousaparts.com. We are sponsored by them and wouldn't be able to bring you guys this content without them helping out the channel. Great dudes over there. They'll have anything and everything that you need. Disclaimer, this did not come from them. Uh, sometimes they can get them. Sometimes they can't. Just depends uh, upon what's going on. But you have to get with them. This particular sound system came from Amazon and I'll have link down below as to where to get it off of Amazon and which one exactly it is. This one is the RGB one. It's just a little bit more than the regular one without RGB. The RGB looks cool, but I'm gonna be honest with you right now, the remote that it came with, um, pretty much trash can material. It only works when it wants to. You have to like aim it all over the place to try and get it. Honestly, I just got it on the blue color and I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not messing around with it. I just wanted tunes, not necessarily RGB, but it is nice to have some kind of lights whenever you're out in the woods at night. And it does look good. It does look good. Now guys, this is the six and a half inch speaker model. It has the one inch dome tweeters and it does sound good. I have to adjust this. I was messing with them to make sure they cleared this. But the one inch dome tweeters, they sound really good. You get pretty good bass from this sucker. It, the only the other thing I don't like is how it moves around. So I think what I'm gonna do is find me some rubber pad to put down under it. It didn't come with any rubber pad. And I mounted the uh, switch panel right there where the CF Moto logo is. It comes with this little plastic piece. I just drilled a hole right in this thing right here. Get it on there. I just drilled a hole in this plastic piece right down through the CF Moto logo and bolted that on and then this slides on and clips on. And this is installed temporarily because I have an Oxbeam fuse box. Oxbeam is sending me a fuse box. They're sending me some LED whips and they're sending me some rock lights to put on this thing. So as soon as I get them, I'll, I'll install that uh, switch panel and we'll put this on that. I don't know where I'm gonna put the switch panel itself. Thinking about mounting it right here. That way I can just reach over and, and hit it or whatever I need to do. I don't, I can't think of eight items that I'm gonna need to hook up. But anyway, you guys came so you can hear what this thing sounds like.
heard it, it sounds good. It'll turn the woods into a dance floor. Just saying, I don't know how to dance or nothing, but you got it firsthand. There you go. So listen, I'm not gonna tell you to go buy one. Wait and see if I have something negative to say about it. I just got it. I haven't heard anybody that had to say anything negative about it. Everybody that I've talked to that has one or even had the older model, they loved it. So I'm sure I'm gonna love it too. Definitely get on over and check out that link down below in the description and check it out. Maybe you want one, maybe you want to wait and see if I have anything bad to say about it. We'll see. We're going to put it through the paces here coming up soon and uh, we'll go from there. But listen guys, I want to thank you for watching. This build is going to be awesome. I'm already looking at tires and rims for this thing. So stick around, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. God bless.